I hope everyone had a wonderful weekend. We're back to the top of the week. It's messy Monday, so you know I had to keep tabs on the Housewives of Beverly Hills Mean Girls, right? Especially the leader, which is Lisa Renna. So a fan happened to capture this because I didn't catch it. And they noticed that the statement from Bravo was no longer on Renna's page, on her Instagram page. Remember, all the women had posted it on their Instagram page in support of Garcelle, her son Jax, as well as Bravo, you know, supporting the network. Lisa removed her post. Someone caught this and they ended up DMing her, asking her about it, and she decided to post her response. So let's take a look. She posted in her Instagram story, she says, I was asked what happened to the Bravo statement on my Instagram. And she said, this is my reply. So she shows a message where she says, I archived it, that's all. I've been keeping my social page very edited, if you will notice. I'm keeping it very positive, non-negative, and fashion and fun. I don't want anything negative on my grid. And since my own children are being threatened as we speak, I felt it best to archive it. The statement did nothing, so why keep it up? Our children are getting de- our, our children are getting death threats, all of our children. It's gone beyond, and I need to keep my family safe now. I will no longer be saying or posting anything about the show. So this is what we're doing. Now she said she archived, whether you archive, delete, it's not visible on your page. So you don't have to tell us that, okay, I didn't delete it, I archived it. Like that's supposed to make someone feel better. You know, that's someone's supposed to feel better. Like, oh, okay, it's archived, not deleted. It doesn't matter, Lisa, what you did. You removed the statement from your page. And now your excuse for doing so is because now your family's being threatened. The way Lisa Renna decides to post everything, I would pretty much believe that if this were true, we'd see a comment of one of these threats. Whoever's sending these threats, there will be snapshots of these alleged threats. They will be posting it. They will be showing the network like, oh my God, look at what's happening. My children are being threatened. It's just, it's unbelievable to me because we don't see any proof of it. If this, if this is what's really happening. I think it's more so just, okay, they just want to take the attention away from what's really happening to Garza. And they're, they don't like it. And this is just what they're coming up with because they're all saying it. Lisa's saying it. Erica's saying it. Diana's saying it. So this is the first post that she did. And then after that, she went on to say this. She went on to post two posts. This one... On the left, she says, also, I never had Real Housewives of Beverly Hills anywhere on my Instagram and my profile, and I have recently edited my Instagram page for fashion, fun, and family. I took away 8,000 photos. I did that about three weeks ago. If you go back and look, there's still housewife stuff on there from the reunion, from the wine scene in Providence, dancing in Providence, the end. And over to the right, she posts a throwback photo of herself. It looks like at the American Music Awards. And her caption says, I was Lisa effing Renner before Housewives, and I'll be Lisa effing Renner after. So is this telling us that she's no longer going to be on the Housewives? This is what it sounds like. This is what she's aiming at, as if she's done with the Housewives. Because all of the women have not only photos, but in their bio, it always says, You know, whichever franchise they're on, it says it. You know, it shows Bravo, it shows it. So she's removed all of that info as well as pictures. Um, So this is looking like she's on her way out the door if she's not already out the door already. And if so, great job, because that's where you need to be, on your way out. You have fulfilled your duties as a housewife on Beverly Hills, and your services are just no longer needed, Lisa. It's ridiculous. Good. I'm happy to hear that if that is the if that's the case. Now let's go on to Diana. This is how I know these women are just trying to spin the narrative and make it about themselves and their families now, being that Garcelle and her family was attacked. Diana posts this, a tweet with a photo of her and her boy toy. And she says, I, she said, I safe here in undisclosed location. 
and she puts a heart in the, pr the prayer hands and says, safe house, Real Housewives of Beverly Hills, Team Diana, Smile Sunday, Asher, my bodyguard, always on ward. So she's trying to say, I'm in an undisclosed location, I'm safe. As if fans would really be able to get to you. As if people are really looking to get you. It's Do you see what they're doing? And this is what I'm saying. This, so I'm not believing. She's another one. You're receiving threats. We're yet, social media, the public, we are have yet to see these threats that have occurred between these women and their families. They're spinning the narrative. I can't wait for the reunion. I've said it before and I'm going to say it again because I just can't wait for the reunion. I really can't wait for it. Um, and that's what these women are doing. They're making it about them and they want the sympathy. They don't want Garcelle to have it. They're the ones that now are being threatened. But this is what I did come across aside from the Housewives of Beverly Hills. Wendy Williams podcast made a post today and she says, it says loading, the Wendy experience coming soon, podcast loading. And it's a photo of Wendy. So it looks like her podcast is still in the works. Um, I don't know when the episode is coming or when it's going to start airing, but she's letting us know that the podcast is still coming. So I will definitely be listening. I thought, you know, it wouldn't be coming right away, but hey. It looks like it is. So when it drops, I'll be the first, one of the first ones to listen and see what's going on, how Wendy sounds, and what she's going to be talking about. I really, that's what I really want to know, what she's going to be talking about on her podcast. Who, who will her guests be and her topics? That's, that's it. So guys, thank you for watching. Like this video, subscribe to my channel, leave a comment. Let me know how you feel about Renna finally leaving. It looks like she's really leaving. This doesn't look like she'll be around to film another season. I hope so. It's, so it's good news on this messy Monday, okay? As far as I'm concerned. So guys, thank you. I'll talk to you guys again soon.